Hello Ratbags, it's Jay Plays Games. Welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved Base Tours. Today we're doing a very special base tour, an official server base tour. No glitches, no cheats, no spawning items in, no ramped up harvesting rates. This is the real deal, official base tour on a PvE server. I'm with old school DJ and Misty. These guys invited me to come and check it out. They showed me some screenshots and I thought I was, re I was really impressed. I was really impressed. With official servers, you're never going to get maybe them final tiny touches that you would find on other builds. But what you've got here, as a complex from a, quite a small tribe, is just a fantastic collection of different builds, functional builds, but also they do have something about them as well, especially some of the late ones I'm going to show you. And the fact that they've collected all these dinosaurs, they've done all the hard work, they've done all the graft with not a massive tribe, and that's something I really appreciate on these kind of base tours. Base tours aren't all just about the most amazing looking building going, they're not about the biggest building going, they can literally just be about how it fits into the game and people doing it the way the game is meant to be played in terms of hardcore, no cheating, no spawning, no flying, using fly commands to build your bases. So I really appreciate it. Showing me around the base, I couldn't get his voice in because I'm having trouble with the PS4 party chat at the moment, but just a fantastic Fantastic collection of dragons here. Like I have never been able to tame a dragon on its own. Like the best I've come is by getting friends to help me, um, and they pretty much done all the work. So big, big hats off to people that can do this all the time. I've got a nice little collection here. Everything's ordered, really high levels as well. Again, you know, for people on hardcore official servers to be going around to getting some of these high-level dinosaurs, and obviously they've got some filler ones as well. Obviously the patchy rhinos, I haven't seen too many of them flying around as much. And you've got a nice 192 Baronix there as well. So a really nice collection of dinosaurs that they've managed to get together. These guys have been playing quite a while. Um, they've been building quite well just on this one server. So yeah, big shout out to them. They've done a fantastic job. And I like the structures they've done as well. They're not just a simple box with a flat roof. They have tried putting a bit of shape into it, especially these early ones. Even just adding something like a skylight really makes a difference. And particularly on the official server where you have to grind for this stuff so much more it takes so much more effort than doing it on your single player you know me I'm a boosted guy I don't do this so I boost my server to shit everything's boosted on my server um, but I have full respect for people that don't do that and play on these official servers hats off to them that they can go and grind and get all this stuff and still make something look really good you know and the complex the compounds which we're going to show off as well I just think it's a really good complex it's got such a good mix of build Buildings. It's got such a big variety of dinosaurs. They've all got sort of their places. This is the dino sort of pen, um, the major sort of one. And then he's got his fly hanger here as well. Again, really high level quetzal, some of these guys. Um, and I just like the way it's all positioned. You've got like the little entrance ways so they can just fly in and fly out. Um, even the thatch flooring, I just think it's a nice touch. It adds something to it as well. So I would love to see more official server tours. If you guys have been building it on official servers, let me know. Send me some screenshots. It can be a bit harder on PvP. So as long as you can protect me, I'll come and check it out. But if you're on PvE, absolutely send me some screenshots. I would love to come and check out your base tour on official servers fantastic collection of rexes here 271 on grimlock there that is that is big in the game big in the game it's a nice color as well i love that one um, and then we've got the mammal house i do believe these are not the dinosaurs but basically no tell a lie tell a lie it's the next one i'm gonna have a look at beg your pardon um i'm really gutted i'm gonna try and work out a way that i can record party chat i would love to get conversations going with the people that are building um rather than just me waffling on over the top of it um i just can't seem to get it work at the moment i don't know i probably need some new equipment for it um but yeah fantastic little collection there got loads of fezzies and obviously got the mantises they have spent some time in school stuff as well and I think they've done a lot of trading and stuff like that. They flip between both servers when they need to. And just adding like a little functional, you know, a metal glass bridge. It's just great. Look at that compound. Look how big it is. Of course, it would start to rain. Um, it is mostly stone. And you need that for protection on this type of server. Um, even PvE, you need something to protect you rather than just wood. We've got some nice areas. got a fishing area here. Um, and the walls are just in a good position as well. Like, look at that wall. It's actually almost symmetrical. Next up, this is the manor house. I'm sure it looks almost like... A church from outside um, you can see here we've got different types of you know third creatures or the calcinium I can't say that word calcinium calcinium and a good filer as well so he was building 
building these guys up, um, you know, adding to it. Not as much as some of the other dinosaurs, but he was getting there. And then this is his hatchery as well, one of them. Um, lots of flies in here. I uh, just like the look of it. Just Again, just adding a bit different. You can tell he's kind of evolved from building some of the bigger structures, um, obviously to house some of the big dinos, and then being a little bit more refined, thinking of some new ideas to add to it. He built it all on pillars as well. He didn't want anything being up and down or rounded, you know, uneven surfaces. And this basically just showing off some of these trophies. Um, they're on their way. They're not yet ready to fight the boss fight. They said they're going to do it one day, but they don't want to risk losing their dinosaurs, their T-Rexes, just yet. So maybe in a while when they really build up a good supply. But it's good, again, to see people going to all the effort to go into all the caves and do it legit. Um, I don't know on official servers how good the caves are. I, have they got the same creature problem as single player because on single player most of the caves are empty you can barely find a creature on the caves so i don't know if that's the same thing but yeah fair play and look again here just adding some skylights adding some details on the roofs it just really works it really adds something to builds and i really like the fact he has put everything on pillars it's just nice flat surface um you know there's no disjoints or anything like that and it's just a massive complex huge complex really what I really liked about as well this tribe is that they have got some roles, like some of them are builders, so these guys, Misty and uh, Old School DJ, were kind of the main builders. They do have other people that do a bit of building as well. Uh, in fact, Misty's more of a resource gatherer as well and gets a lot of the sort of grind done. And you can see you've got a fantastic collection of birds. Be interesting to see how they play out once the nerf is hit. If you don't know about the nerf, that's probably hit if you've seen this video a little while later. There was a nerf to reduce how quickly and how much stamina a lot of the birds had. So we'll see how they go. It can be a bit of an issue, but I think Old School was looking forward to the nerf. Um, or not looking forward to it, but understood that it had to happen to maybe make some more of the dinosaurs more useful, etc. Um, and you can just tell as well from looking at an official server, look how many flyers they've got compared to some more of the land dinosaurs. You know, not a massive, huge selection, just a few of the key ones they need for gathering resources and stuff like that. So. It is interesting to see how the, the nerf will affect official servers, even PvE more than just PvP. Fantastic collection of you know, resources and the typical sort of stuff you find in a tribe. And obviously they work together refilling all the you know the boxes and, and gathering resources for each other so again it must be really good to play on for sure that's one thing i've always lacked whenever i've played with friends it's always been a bit difficult um you know i've never played on an official server and i've never played on a server where i didn't have admin commands or it was like almost official so i've never had the reason to really have to rely on anyone else other than just my friends to build stuff and you know for videos that i was doing but in terms of actually playing on a server it would be good i've been thinking about maybe Maybe possibly trying to do something on the official server. Um, I like the little walkway there we had and the little skylight, like that was great. And just all these little viewpoints, looking out at different areas, got different angles of the base. Um, it's just a really good look. I really enjoyed it. Um, this location is really good. The waterfalls is always quite pretty on the island. It's got to be one of the most popular spots on the game i think i've seen so many people build bases around here definitely one of the most popular ones um and then yeah just functional you've got everything you need you've got your you know your furnace and everything else um we're going to go and take a look inside now and hopefully we should see hit the library now this library is just filled 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 with loads of stuff loads of blueprints stuff like that you got the monkey looking after it. If you're a Terry Pratchett fan, you'll know all about the orangutan, the librarian, um, Ook. And then, yeah, we've just got like a nice, well thought out area to have all your resources and to have all your, you know, the imprints, the imprints, the blueprints and stuff like that. And just having that little balcony go around the outside again, it was a nice little touch. Too often, I think people, when playing games like this, especially on official servers, you probably get bogged down in always on the grind. And so you just think, I'm going to build just a quick little box, put stuff in it, and get on the grind again. But it's nice when people take a bit of time to add a little bit of flair to it, you know. Like I said, it can't, there's only so much they can do. They're not, you know, it's really hard to get on flyers and place pillars and top of buildings and stuff like that. But I love the little walkway you got here, the little glass one. Showing off their mutated birds here as well, like fantastic colours. Orion here, 261. And then we've got the river 228 as well. Fantastic colours. Love to, you know, it must be so amazing to get like a really good batch of mutated colours. Again, I've only ever used the cheats to colour dinosaurs. I've never gone to the trouble of, 
raising a baby and, and trying to get the right colours. Uh, night time was closing in here, still going to take a look at a few more buildings, um, just a few more little ones, sort of outhouses and just little touches to add to it. Um, you've got over here a little sort of smithy area I do believe, or workbench area, just a tiny little house but it's just nice, it's just a nice little look. You know, it doesn't have to be massive, as long as it's got the right little details like a few torches, the workbench is in the right spot, the right place, you know, a little couple of chairs, it can really make something more role play like something where you will want to spend time I can't f remember like forget the amount of times I used to place furniture in Skyrim or even in Minecraft I would make furniture to make it look more homely and then this one here just another little room um, lots of storage obviously but again just well laid out well thought out just a nice little boat area as well near the docks um, the water I'm gonna see a really fantastic destroyer ship in a minute that they built as well which I was really impressed with um, you know lots of designs for it but it's really good these are the stables they built they're obviously waiting at sort of patiently for the equus to come along and we've also got a few creatures but again just a nice little build it looks like a stable you know it's got thatch roof in it's got the the stalls ready for them to come in i've even got a few overseas as well um good find on them they're so rare it's hard to find them um so yeah fantastic achievement getting all these little buildings in place and having it all ready for the whole tribe to come and use it's just such a good thing to do that it just be must be amazing to be part of a good tribe where you all work together and you've all got jobs to do um, going across another bridge now again like, I really like the little bridges you've got here like you know the waterfall in the background and the lighting starting to light up a little bit with some of the artifacts and just some of the torches they've placed around this next one he's going to show me I think a tribe mate built this was his tribe um, mate one of the other main sort of tribe members um, quite a fantastic build yeah lots of glass in it lots of other resources um, mainly it looks a little bit like you know a greenhouse sort of style window um, ceiling effect which I quite liked as well nice and open so it means lots of light floods in when it is daytime and got a nice balcony area as well and the shape of it was good as well almost like a modern house you know that sort of vibe to it too um, lots of little rooms and compartments and places to sort of sit down and you can see the light in here is pretty good as well on some of the either buildings I suppose if you can get more artifacts or if you they maybe progress even more to the electric sort of uh, generator system or even if they get the tech generator when that comes out and you'd be able to power so much more without loads of wires so that would be something to look forward to to come back and check out how they get on got a little tavern here of course you've got to build a tavern if you've got a tribe you need a pub you need a pub to come down have a beer have a few bits of jerky get on the drums get on the bongos light a fire and just talk talk the shit <laughs> all night long while getting drunk on beer um but yeah it's just a nice little you know just adds to it i think this is the stuff i really enjoy about games like this where you can do role play you can really get into the spirit of things you know have events here talk about stuff you know talk about what you're going to be doing the next day as a tribe lots and lots of things there weren't too many other members of the tribe on that moment like I said, these two, I think, were like some of the main builders and done a lot of work. But I'm sure lots of the other tribe members do lots of work as well, so don't get me wrong. I'm sure they all do equally fantastic jobs. And then this is the destroyer they showed me off as well. Look at that, it's a beast. A beast, you wouldn't want that to come towards you. So I think they're saving it for the leads, um, see how it get on against one of them. Um, yeah, it's got everything in it, you know, it's just like a mobile home, literally got every single thing they need. I hope it survives, if they take it out, I'd, I'd love to see them take down the leads, I hope they send me a clip if they do. Um, I've got a feeling though, the leads might smash them to bits, but we'll have to see. And now we've got the hatchery, beg your pardon, I said hatchery earlier, but this is the actual hatchery. And again, just got a nice simple layout, lots of space for the baby dinos. Um, got some nice little ones here. Well, again, the mutations there are really good colours, especially the like, turquoise or uh, what's it called? That glue, glue who effect, where it is. Um, like that one too. Um, you know, just does all the job and it's really neat as well. You can see the wires there, just really, you know, everything's in a nice spot and everything else. So, yeah, great job. I think Misty Snow looks after a lot of the, the babies and stuff like that. You can see that, wants care from them. Again, I've never done it. I've never raised a baby dinosaur. I need to up my game. I need to fix up and start thinking about stuff like this. Definitely something I might start thinking about if I ever did do an official server let's play. Um, the only thing that stops me doing an official server let's play is just the amount of hours you have to put into it. And I just can't, don't know if I can combine that with trying to do videos 
like I do, the news videos and everything else. So maybe I'll try it, maybe I'll give it a go. I can't even get my second Let's Play video series done. We did want to take a look outside, they let me use one of their birds. Um, unfortunately, the mist rolled in, so I didn't get a chance to get any decent aerial shots. But I think we saw quite a lot of it. You know, the compound was massive, it was really good. And just all over, just a really good, good example of what an official server can do, what an official tribe can do. No cheating, no commands, no you know times gathering rates really just good hard teamwork and that's what is a fantastic part of Ark Survival Rob. I'm Joe Plays Games a big shout out to old school DJ and Misty Snow for showing me around their, um, their compound thank you very much if you've got a world make sure you send me some screenshots on Twitter on PSN or Xbox and I'll see you for the next one next week bye bye